I'm Naomi Libby with Osborne Books and More, and I am so excited to show you some of our newest nonfiction titles. So starting out with books for babies and toddlers, we've got two new ones in our little board book series, The Snowy Day and The Windy Day. So these are great introductions to the topic of weather. We've got a mom and her son who go out flying a kite together, and as they do, they talk all about the wind and everything that it does. So it's a great little story, and we're learning something at the same time. If you loved Alfie and Beth's ABCs, you're going to love Dottie and Dash's 123. This is an introduction to numbers as a pop-up book. So these always have beautiful illustrations. They have the fun pop-up feature, things to count on every page. These are a huge hit with little ones and they're a really fun way to start introducing the concept of numbers. My favorite series, I think, in our catalog, so far at least, is the Peek Inside series. I love these books. They have beautiful illustrations and they're such a fun way to introduce these topics to our littlest readers. So this one is all about bug homes with these great flaps that are so much fun to open and explore with your little ones as we are discovering all of these fun new topics together. As your kids get a little older, they ask a few more questions. So we've got our questions and answers series. This one is about plastic. So this book takes the uh, format of these types of questions. The what, the how, the why, everything to do with plastic. Why it was created, what it does, how we can conserve, all of the great things that we need to know about being good stewards of our planet. Speaking of our planet, this is an awesome series, Dr. Maggie's Grand Tour of the Solar System. This was written by a space scientist and is all about our amazing solar system. Starting with our planet, but then going out into all of the amazing places in our solar system with beautiful graphics and illustrations, lots of bite-sized chunks of information as you can see. There's a glossary in the back. This is chock full of great information for your space lover. A new addition to our Sea Inside series and our STEM series is this one on atoms and molecules. So we have turned atoms and mo molecules into a flat book, which is so much fun. We're breaking down this topic for your readers, making it a little more accessible to them. There's even a great um, periodic table in the back. This one is a lot of fun to look through. Another Lift the Flap book that we have that I'm excited about is this one, Biggest, Fastest, Tallest. So this is full of cool information on all of the biggest, fastest, and tallest things in our, on our planet. So we've got all of the tallest skyscrapers. We've got Strongest here, talking about who did the heaviest lift ever. Oh my goodness, this book. If you have a trivia lover, they are going to love this amazing book. Here's another really exciting one is you've got little ones who are trying to decide what they want to do when they grow up. This is a new series called That's a Job. And this one in particular is I Like Animals, What Jobs Are There? So this book is full of information on all of the different jobs you can do if you're an animal lover. For example, a pet vet or a wildlife sanctuary manager, and it goes through a day in the life of one of these jobs. So a dog walker, a pet sitter, the list goes on and on. I'm not kidding when I say this book is full of ideas. And last but not least is this exciting book, History Uncovered, the USA. This is a really fun look at the history of the country and specifically how it grew from 13 colonies to 50 states. So there's lots of fun information on each page, but there's also this great cutaway feature. And as we go through the history of the country, it grows. So you can see the territories and the states are being added and it's all filling in. And again, we've got lots of fun trivia, lots of fun information about what life was like during that time period all the way through until modern day. So I hope that's given you a fantastic look at some of our newest nonfiction titles and given you a few new books to add to your wish list.